rebound and make Taylor fold. And historically, particularly of late, that has been the big problem for Jermaine Taylor, and Taylor knows it. We asked him about that in the fighter meeting yesterday, and he did say, yeah, he, he feels that Abraham's probably going to try to take this deep, try to wear him out, wear him down, make him tired, see if he uh, runs out of gas, test his endurance, hard body shots by Abraham, and then you go in for the late knockout if you're Arthur Abraham. Nice move by Abraham, that combination punching, and then he took a step out and to the side. Taylor's counter punch missed by a mile. And Arthur Abraham, dangerous from start to finish, and when he has you in trouble, if he smells blood, that's when he really turns up the aggression. Again, Taylor using that jab to try to keep distance. But those punches are not effective. They're being blocked by Abraham's gloves, who's in that peekaboo style there. And again, all this makes you expend a lot of energy, and if you get Jermaine Taylor, that's not what you want. He completely revamped his training. But you made a great point earlier saying, is it more physical or mental? And maybe we'll find that out tonight. Just saw an interesting move there by Taylor. He stepped inside when Abraham punched. Abraham punches wide. You're safer when you're in close. Plus, Abraham isn't an infighter. He doesn't like fighting on the inside, surprisingly, given his lack of height. Missing with a wild right, Arthur Abraham. Abraham only five foot nine, but as we said earlier, oh, good right hand flipped the head of Jermaine Tedder at five nine. Abraham's got long arms. Again, the jab by Taylor pushing Abraham back. You want to try to push Abraham back to the ropes because when he's on the ropes, he usually doesn't punch. And that's when you can really outwork him. Heavy right hand there to the head by Abraham. He's scoring now in round three. He's starting to come alive. And every one of those right hands is from the side. And now Jermaine Taylor upset because the punches to the back of the head once again the bell. Michael Kessler, Kessler on hand, the WBA super middleweight champ, will be fighting uh, Andre Ward November 21st at Oakland in the Super Six. Good job. He hit you side of the head. I don't take nothing. Get that crowd. Remember, Taylor, they want a clean fight, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Great. Hey, start going away from me right here. Angle. Get me. Get me. If you ever start thinking about dropping that left hand, you hit the right. But you got to go toward the right. Nice round. Nice still nice round. Don't let him get too close. I see him trying to go for the center Three, counter. Five, He's got a chop. Oh, yeah. So Arthur Abraham, who may uh, be in a 3-0 hole here, has to answer Jermaine Taylor, who came out exploding from the uh, blocks there to begin round three. And he looks very determined now. He is uh, really ticked off at Arthur Abraham for the shots behind the head. And uh, he comes out fast here in round three. Well, tough rounds for the judges, two and three, because Abraham punching less often, more effectively. Taylor more often, less effectively. Beg your pardon, round four. Okay. And again, a warning from Lupe Garcia for the low blow by uh, Jermaine Taylor. Abraham in no hurry, very deliberate. Going to the body with that punishing blow. They told him to use the right more in the corner, and he is. Jermaine Taylor setting it up with the jab. The right hand block there. Taylor can't get too happy. What I mean by that, Steve, is 
When he punches, he has to keep moving to the side. That'll take away Abraham's counterpunch. The thing is, though, Steve, he's more of a flat-footed fighter who moves backward and forward. And there was an off-balance issue for Abraham. He's not really a side-to-side -side guy, but he's going to have to adapt here against Abraham. Developing into a very interesting fight here in the early going. Not much of a first minute of this round four for Abraham. He's done almost nothing. But again, he doesn't really concern himself that much about digging an early hole because, as you mentioned, uh, rightly so before, he really turns it up in the second half of the fight. Exactly. As I said when he fought my hero Aral on Showtime, the fight starts when Arthur Abraham says the fight starts. He put Aral down in that tune-up five times. And Aral carried his left hand very low like Jermaine Taylor. Of course, Mahir Aral is not Jermaine Taylor, but there is that similarity. We'll see if it becomes a factor. A chippy fight. Turn out! And they do touch gloves. Wilfred Sauerland, the promoter of Arthur Abraham. And part of this crowd of 14,000 enjoying the action. Stay in the middle, stay in the middle, do some action, okay? Okay, just keep, your, keep yourself stabilized, please. Okay, you can make it, you can make it. Just trust yourself. Okay, you make, make this, you make to need to do some action, okay? You, you. Action from round four. Is that another right hand to the behind the head by Abraham? Our thanks to our translator, Alexander Stepatot, and our thanks to ARD Television here in Germany and all the terrific production people assisting us with the telecast tonight. Steve Round five. Abraham, some swelling over the right eye. He's really not a bleeder. He has had swelling problems, but hasn't bled in too many fights. You're talking about Abraham? Yes. Uh, with the exception of that first Miranda fight, but that was from the inside of the mouth when the blood was pouring out. His face was disfigured because his jaw was broken against Miranda, but the blood was coming from a laceration on the inside of the mouth. Abraham's been very effective with that jab. Interesting to see if he starts using it more. But the punch that's landed repeatedly for him is the wide right hand. Hasn't thrown it much in the last couple of rounds. Abraham able to uh, elude the jabbing attempts of Jermaine Taylor. Going to the body then upstairs with the right hand. It pushed uh, Abraham back momentarily, but now Abraham coming forward. which sometimes is a signal that he's ready to get it on. <laughs> well, he better soon. I think Taylor's putting some rounds in the bank. And he wants to tire Taylor out. Does he try to lull you into a false sense of security and then do that? Exactly. Let you think that he's easy to hit. He is a very intelligent fighter, isn't he? Abraham. And it, with a unique style. Puzzling to many. Long right hand by Abraham. That's starting to find a home. By far Abraham's most effective round. And Taylor has to know right now, even though he was very effective in the first four rounds, that he is in there with a bull. A very strong man.
Taylor coming forward for a brief second, but then he stepped back, and now they go at it on the inside. been totally an outside fight, Steve. No, nothing resembled any infighting. Yeah, that was surprising, a wild exchange. There's a straight right hand that pushes Taylor back. And that connected. That one missed. Best round by far for Arthur Abraham, round five. Let's go to Nottingham, England. All right, Steve, thank you very much. Jim Gray in Nottingham, England, as we get ready for Durrell against Carl Frotch. Carl joins us now. Carl, you said you felt that it was disrespectful and naive for Durrell to get here just six days in advance. Why did you say that? Um, I don't think six days is long enough to get the, the flight out of your system, the jet lag. I know he's still, he says it's on California time, but, you know, you need to get the, um, the flight totally out of your system and give yourself a